Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So we meet again. So with a new topic which is encouraging creativity. So at the end of uh, this uh, discussion, okay, you should be able to describe characteristic of creative people. Okay, and then discuss factors that encourage or hinder individuals' creativity. So this is our agenda okay, for this topic. So if you can see that we have 10 key points okay, that you need to know about how to encourage creativity among people. So we will start with this discussion on what is the definition of creative. Okay, and then we will go to type of creativity. Then we discuss on the components of creative, okay, features of creativity. And we will look at what are the characteristics of creative people. Okay, and then how to measure creativity. And uh, I will show you some of the creative solution. Okay, and also the uh, definition or the, the differences between innovation and creativity. Okay, then we will look at the barriers to the creativity and the last part which is the encouraging creativity. So what is the definition, what is it, uh, how we can define creativity? So this is a sum of the uh, definition for creativity. So which is the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. So the key important uh, or the keyword here is new. Okay, um, so creativity must be something new. The solution that you choose must be something new and uh, must be different with the others. So character, the creativity is characterized by the ability to perceive the world in new ways. This is another key uh, terms which is new ways. Okay, to find hidden patterns. Okay, to make connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena and to generate solutions. Okay, so basically this is uh, what is the creativity is about. So it is not a um, solution that is a uh, normal. Okay, so basically you will, uh, when we talk about creativity, you will see that uh, the, the people is okay, able to uh, produce novelty or to produce uh, new ideas, new solution okay, and then they have a very uh, different okay, solution okay, and then ability to transcend traditional ideas, rules, okay, patterns, relationships or the like and to create meaningful new ideas, forms, methods, okay, interpretation uh, for example, uh, we have originality, okay, progress, prog progressiveness, or imagination. So basically, when we talk about creativity, uh, the key point here is you need to have very new ways, okay, new solution, okay, propose uh, something that is different, okay, that is the keyword uh, when you want to discuss about creativity definition. So basically, this is the Steve job, okay. Uh, okay. Basically, this is a, the def definition of creativity by the Steve job. Okay, well, who is the Steve job? I hope you know who is the Steve job. Okay. So what uh, Steve job said about creativity is just connecting things. Okay. When you ask creative people how they did something. They feel a little guilty because they didn't really do it. They just saw something. So it seemed obvious to them after a while. That's because they were able to connect experiences they have had and synthesize new things. So sometimes if you look at the solution that we have now, this is not something new, uh, total 100%. But it is actually combination of the things or the combination of the processes okay uh, but must be uh, come from the very um, or must be proposed something that is very useful okay so that's why steve job said that uh, the people uh, seems they just connecting things okay but 
uh, how you connect things is not everybody can do that right so you need to have uh, some of the skills uh, in terms of the uh, when we talk about the creativity okay next we look at okay Edward Dibon okay uh, said that creative thinking is not a talent okay it is a skill that can be learned okay some of you think that uh, and also always says uh, that you are not creative okay to design something or you are not creative to do something okay but actually creative thinking is a skill okay so and it empowers people by adding strength to their natural abilities which improves teamwork productivity and where appropriate profits okay so you need to gain these skills okay so how you uh, create the creative thinking so we will see uh, and we will look at some of the um, some of the tips or some of the key uh, important things about creative thinking. All right. So now we look at the type of creativity okay so we have three types uh, in our syllabus we choose Borden okay uh, 1998 which is used three types of creativity the first one is the combinational okay that involve new combination of familiar ideas so how you can create uh, creative uh, things or how you can propose creative things so you can combine okay uh, so that's why uh, Steve Jobs said that okay creativity is uh, actually about uh, putting together so you can have that okay for example okay you can have um, uh, combination of okay uh, artific artificial intelligence and also uh, some of the electrical or electronic uh, theories and so on okay okay and then uh, the second type of creativity which is exploratory so this is involved the new uh, generation of ideas okay so this is uh, quite difficult okay because you need to have explore a uh, new concept new structure okay and then propose the new things okay and then we have a uh, type number three for creativity which is transformational creativity that involve the transformation of some dimension of the structure so that new structures can be generated okay okay next okay so this is okay five components of creativity proposed by Robert Steinbergs so how uh, what are the important things that you need to have in order for you to create the creativity which is first you need to have very creative environment okay having support okay, feedback encouragement and time and space to think okay so you need to have very uh, the environment for you must be supportive for your uh, uh, for uh, nature the creativity Okay, and then you need to have component number two which is venturesome okay venturesome okay personality venture some personality okay tending to seek out new experiences despite risk ambiguity and obstacles okay so you need to have very good personality then you need to have uh, intrinsic motivation okay enjoying the pursuit uh, of interest and challenge without needing external direction or reward okay so you need to have very good uh, motivation also then you need to have the expertise okay to pro to pro uh, uh, nurture the creativity so this is the important uh, components of creativity so you need to have expertise in the in that knowledge okay and then you need to have imaginative thinking so this is actually the add-on to the creativity i think in terms of environment personality motivation expertise is a normal component but imaginative thinking is another or is important in components for the creativity so having the ability to see new perspective combinations and connection so which is i think this is the most difficult um in the uh, in this component okay uh, because it is about the 
creativity or creating the creativity okay next so we look at the pictures okay of creativities okay so basically we have a uh, pictures okay, uh, so from the research showed that practice training and exposure to unfamiliar ideas and experiences are be playing a bigger and essential role in shaping creativity so this is some of the tips for you to create creativity so what are the features that uh, related to creativity so creativity is not the product but the process so that's why creativity you cannot gain the skill uh, in only one semester or two semester so you need to polish okay because it is a process okay creativity involves both conscious and subconscious thinking okay sometimes uh, you know what you are thinking about but sometimes you are not uh, clear on what you are thinking so both uh, are we consider as the creativity Okay, and then number three, creativity, creative thinking can be stimulated at individual as well as group level. So you can have very uh, in terms of group also, not just in individual. So creative thinking can be both systematic and unsystematic. But basically, most of the time, creativity is about unsystematic or unstructured uh, ideas or concept or knowledge. Okay. So features number five, okay, which is creativity is about thinking something new. Okay, of course, this is some of the definition that we have discussed. And whenever the idea, the new idea is implemented, it bring it brings change. So this is the important. So you have the new idea or the new solution or the new uh you propose a new things, but the the uh, main idea is the idea or the solution must be. Um, impact okay uh, efficient or uh, it give positive values to the uh, situation okay okay and the, another features that we have is creativity is not a one-time or isolated activity so uh, since okay features number one is about creativity is a process so that's why it is creativity is not one-time activity so the process must involve more than one activity and then creativity is somewhat regular activity creativity requires high degree of awareness okay of course you need to know about uh, thinking and then creativity involves pattern breaking creative thinking involves seeking answers to questions or problem okay of course this is about curiosity okay and then chance or accidental accidental uh, discover of new idea does not mean creativity Okay, so sometimes you uh, think uh, a very good or a ve uh, cr very creative ideas, okay, uh, but actually it is not the chance or accident happen, right? Okay, so I share you some of the uh, um, findings or the research okay, by Rose Noller, Professor Emeritus of Creative Studio at Buffalo Stage College. College, okay, develop a symbolic equation for creativity. So, what is the equation? Okay, C equal to F A in the bracket K I E. Okay, what is that? C is creativity. It's a function of knowledge. Okay, F A obtained through life experiences. Okay, which is the uh, okay, uh, imagination. Okay, life experiences is K. Imagination is I to generate ideas or make connections. E is evaluation of the advantages or disadvantages of, of a particular idea. So there is one other critical element which is positive attitude and the belief that you are creative. So this is the equation okay, in order for you to have the creative. So it is not about one uh, thing okay, but it is about the knowledge. Okay, you must have knowledge you must have uh, imagination okay this is the uh, as i mentioned imagination is the key uh, idea for the creative okay and then e is for the evaluation okay so here who is the people here uh, so basically okay this is the people uh, who is very creative okay so i hope that you can find who is all these people 
Okay, and then look at the background of the people. Okay, why uh, we choose these people is one of the creative people. So, in their areas, okay. Okay, so example of this is examples of creative people. So, we have uh, Ralph Warden Emerson. One of America's greatest thinkers was sickly and dull as a child. Okay, and then we have Rabin Drennan. Okay, was a miserable misfit at school. Okay, and then we have Vincent Van Gogh, impressionist, okay, painter, live a life of object, uh, abject, okay, poverty, develop, okay, schizophrenia, and cut off one of his ears of, for his pillar. Okay, all these peoples are unique, okay, were unique. So if we scan the life and times of most creative people, we would find a varied range of idiosyncrasies. Okay, habits and tendencies that characterize them. So, if you look at these three examples of creative people, so I think that you don't want to be very creative. You don't, you don't want to be creative people because if you look at the idea, so it is not so good, right? Okay, some of it is misfit the school, miserable school, and then some has mental problem, okay, and then uh, have a sickly and sharp, a dull as a child okay but actually uh, each of these people has their uh, uniqueness or creativity or characterization okay so sometimes we call that creative people is uh, not easy to understand okay that's why okay next we look at the Okay, characteristic of creative people. Okay, so characteristic of creative people. So we have curiosity. So this is some of the characteristic that we have. Okay, so of course, in order for you to uh, be a uh, creative people, so you need to have very curiosity. You need to inquire or ask some things about the things, right? Okay, and then okay, uh, this is uh, also one of the uh, one of the characteristic which is loneliness. Okay, individual often prefer being alone for various reasons. Reasons because when they are alone, maybe they can uh, have very good thinking. Okay, they or they can do uh, creative things. Okay, next we have the rule breaker okay so that's why uh, i think creative people is something is sometimes we call it weird okay uh, not follow the rules okay uh, but they have very good mind okay thought or ideas okay original and imaginative so this is creative uh, point okay so you must be you cannot copy uh, other ideas okay and then you need to very imaginative uh, or you need to think beyond the or outside the box okay, okay and then must be very sensitive okay uh, so you must be sensitive in terms of the environment or the uh, your area Okay, and then we have adventurous of course for creative people must be adventurous okay desire to explore the unknown so they must be very brief okay or challenges person okay and then of course you need to have very perseverance or risk taker this is also same as the this one okay adventurous so you can see that this is all the characteristic of creative people that you must have so if you want to become a creative people so you need to have this characteristic okay but choose the uh, i think you need to choose the characteristic that is very good values okay okay so how to measure the creativity so we will uh, look at uh, some of the uh, ideas so actually we have a lot of measurement Okay, uh, I will show you the uh, articles okay, that related to the measuring the creativity. But in our syllabus, okay, we will share these two. Okay, which is uh, Gilford's psychometric approach and also Torrent test of creative thinking. So this is just for your knowledge. Okay, so don't worry too much because uh, this is not... Uh, 
the main ideas okay we ask okay for the assessment so what are the Gelford psychometric so actually it is called that sub structure of intellect okay theory okay which is invented uh, at 1955 so Gelford uh, individual uh, measure the individual performance okay, on intelligent tests can be traced back to the underlying mental abilities or factors of intelligence so si theory comprises up 180 different intellectual abilities organized along three dimensions which is operations content and products so we will look at details uh, for this one okay okay then we have tolerance test of critical thinking so what is this uh, measurement or this test so actually this one normally used for the children okay so test of creativity originally involves simple tests of division thinking and other problem solving skills which was scored on four skills okay fluency flexibility originality and elaboration okay so now we look at the first one which is Gilford psychometric approach okay so actually it is uh, invented by joy joy paul Gilford. okay uh, which is uh, november 1987 he was an American psychologist best remembered for his psychometric study of human intelligence. So this is actually the idea of the psychometric approach. These are the components that ask okay, um, for measuring the creativity. So we have, uh, it is divided into three, okay, which is the operations dimension, content dimension and also product. So operation, uh, which is related to the cognitive, okay. Um, or general intellectual process okay the first one is about cognition okay about the knowledge ability to understand comprehend okay discover and become aware of information okay then we have memory recording so the ability to encode information so and then we have memory retention the ability to recall information okay we have divergent product the ability to generate multiple solution to a problem creativity Okay, and then we have conversion production, the ability to reduce a single solution to a problem rule following or problem solving. Okay, and then we have the last part which is the evaluation, the ability to judge whether or not information is accurate, consistent or valid. So this is all the operation dimensions that uh, we will ask okay, to determine the creativity level for a person. Okay, now we look at the content dimension, the second dimension which is related to the figural. Okay, content means that it is focused more on the content of the uh, uh, people or creativity. So, figural, concrete, okay, real world information, tangible objects, things in the environment. It includes a visual information, perceived thought, okay, a perceived true sight, okay, auditory information, okay, and then also the kinesthetic. Okay, and then also we have the symbolic okay, information perceived as a symbol or sign okay it is related to the symbol or, uh, of the content okay, and then semantic okay, concern is verbal okay meaning and ideas okay behavioral is related to the information perceived as act of people okay the attitude of the people okay the next part uh dimension which is the product okay dimension Okay, which is related to the content results of applying particular operations to specific content. So the SI model includes six, which is related to the units, okay, classes, uh, relations, okay, systems, transformations, okay, implications. Okay, so this is the content of or the component of the structure of intellect theory. Okay, next we look at the Second test, which is the Torrance test of creative thinking, TTCT. So as I mentioned, okay, this test is um, normally uh, we use for the uh, children. Okay, so we have actually two parts. Okay, which is the verbal and figural test. So verbal test is related to the uh, seven subtests. Okay, uh, and then asking guess. Okay, asking guess. Uh, so this is about the verbal. So we ask question. Okay, subtests are scored on the basic fluency. Okay, of course, because of verbal, so you need to look at the fluency, flexibility, and originality. Okay, then figural test. It is related to the figure or the image or the tables and so on. So, we have, we need to look at the picture construction. 
picture completion and also parallel parallel lines okay then we have the score uh, which is re, uh, for uh, related score so how you uh, scoring the test okay, which is based on the fluency okay total number of interpretable meaningful and relevant ideas okay flexibility the number of different categories originality about the statistical Okay, and elaboration amount details you are respond to the situation. Okay, next. So we look at some of the creative solution okay, that we have. Okay, so I cannot share everything. So I share some of the creative solution that I think is uh, very good for you to know. Okay. Alright, so this is some of the creative solutions that I found from the uh, web website. So I have shared also the link at the references. Okay, so we have business intelligence tool. So this is a uh, Timken is a provider for automotive okay, product. So it, it proposes a business intelligence tool help distributors better track and manage inventory. Okay, and then we have telemedicine. Okay, Kaiser Permanent using telemedicine to help patients connect remotely so they don't need to come to the uh, hospital okay and it actually reduce the cutting wait times okay so basically it is want to screen earlier because before they need to come to, to see the doctor dermatologist is uh, related to the virtual roving dermatologist offers patient video consultation okay, with patients at the time of their primary care okay and then we have vr Okay, one of the area that is very very good and then it is related to the creative okay okay and then we also have creative solution in terms of intelligent agents so it is used as agent for the customer service okay and then we have ideas shoes without glue okay how it works so what what is the idea about this okay actually it is um glue is not good okay for health so the inventor okay want to create okay uh, something creative which is uh, reduce the glue um, usage okay so simple to assemble okay and then consumer should eventually do it themselves so actually it is similar to the ikea concept where you need you need to assemble your furniture your, on your own right okay, and then we have recommendation system so this is also one of the famous uh uh, solution or, or creative ideas okay, that we have so product and uh, service recommendation system for retailer that increase personalization okay engagement and sales okay, okay and then we also have the blood sugar tracking temporary to for diabetes so nano engineers at the uc scan diago okay san diago uh, have recently developed a temporary tattoo okay so this one is to what it measures okay uh glucose levels in the between skin cell cutting out the uh, need to uh for all those irritating needle so using that okay uh so actually it will detect the diabetes level so i think this one is similar to the okay uh one of the idea in the rugal okay drama so if you look at the k-pop drama so they have um using that kind of chip okay to make sure or uh, to reduce the pain okay or to heal the uh, wound okay okay and then we have a new service for parents okay to monitor kids online safety okay, this is uh the web-based system then we have the bird house that are also fire alarms okay so equipped with the solar panel so embed small alarm sensor and 3g network connection local fire departments may make the destruction less devastating okay so very good uh, idea or creative idea for the uh, problem solution so now we look at the innovation so basically we are talking about the creativity so is it similar creativity and innovation so now we look at the definition first So definition, what is definition? So it is Han K, okay, a hunter with uh, in his with his own definition. Okay, so this is some of the author I found from the website. So hunter said that innovation is the implementation or creation. 
okay so or something new of course this is another keyword right so you need to have keyword new okay and then um innovation is realized more vividly in the form of a tool okay physical benefit so this is innovation okay aid that solve problem or create an advantage so what is the different different between creative and innovation so creativity is a novel step okay of being the first to identify that something might be possible in the first place okay but innovation is actually the action okay to put the the solution or the novel step into practical reality so that is the difference okay so creativity is a step or the process okay innovation is the solution or the implementation okay from the creativity so innovation is about taking new creative ideas and developing them into something useful and practical so in many ways innovation is a process of converting theory into action Okay, next. Alright, okay, sorry, get okay, back. Okay, so now we look at the next part, which is the barriers to creativity. So, what are the barriers or what are the challenges? What are the uh, uh, discouraged factor of the creativity? okay so first okay we have negative attitudes of course if you have negative attitude okay you cannot be a very good person not even the creativity so tendency to focus on the creativity aspect of the problem okay, expand energy on worry so how you solve or how you hinder the problem or how you overcome the problem so believe you can do it okay think that what to achieve and how to achieve okay, don't focus too much on the problems you take different views of situation so you must have very positive uh, views okay and then can okay, barriers number two factors number two is uh, fear of failure okay so fear of looking foolish fear of being loved so see failure as a learning opportunity okay, which is help identify your weaknesses okay and then help discover what doesn't work so uh, because you want to propose a new solution right so it is not uh, the it is not um, easy okay and then you must be very brave okay have the courage to do that so that's why okay you need to don't think about the failure okay okay and then number three is various uh, stress okay not having time to think creative cannot be objective okay stress reduce quality of mental process of course so if you stress you cannot think properly okay so how to overcome that okay pro provide strategic alignment okay have cross-functional expertise change assumptions okay brainstorm always reward ideas allow failure okay next which is the following rules okay uh, so actually when we have rules sometimes it will um, make uh, difficult for you to become a creative person okay but uh, we need actually to follow rules, okay. Uh, so you need to look carefully on this part, okay. okay and then making assumptions, okay. Barriers of clarity. So making assumptions, so identify you unconscious, get okay? assumption restrict creativity ideas. Sometimes you want to propose a new solution or new ideas, then you think that oh maybe this is cannot be done, okay. Uh, that is uh, some of the assumption. So you need to. Identify and examine assumptions you are making. Ensure assumptions are not exceed new idea. Okay, and then we have the over reliance on logic. Okay, so you over um, sometimes uh, propose uh, things that is related to creative, or you want to propose something creative is sometimes you think that it is not logic, right? Uh, okay, so that's why oh, various over reliance on logic will become. Um, this factor will become one of the challenges for you to become a creative people okay so Albert Einstein said that innovation is not the product of logical thought although the result is tied to logical structure 
course so your idea okay um sometimes it's not logical but the structure is still you still have the structure of logical okay so how to encourage creativity so basically okay in order to develop more innovative products okay process and services organizations must have encouraged employees to think more creative so one method of achieving these to encourage teams to utilize creative problem solving technique okay so this is some of the tips okay for you to create encourage creativity okay first okay create a compassion environment okay embrace creativity during learning activities use effective strategies okay think of uh, creativity as a skill can okay, support in intrinsic motivation okay so this is all the references that i have i use okay so try to look at this one to get some idea for the understanding okay uh, as i mentioned this subject you need to have very uh, lots of reading okay since we don't have the textbook so you need to read from the articles okay all right so i think thank you very much for that uh, that's all so uh, i hope that okay you have um, you can reflect what we have uh, learned okay uh, from the uh, 10 key points okay, important uh, or related to the encouraging creativity. So, thank you very much class. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.